Mastering indefinite pronouns. No more mistakes. Hello learners. Today we're going to explore the fascinating world of indefinite pronouns. More specifically, we will delve into a commonly encountered problem area. Pronoun antecedent agreement errors. If you've ever been confused about phrases like, everyone is, or, everyone are, then you're in the right place. First off, let's clarify what indefinite pronouns are. Indefinite pronouns are those that do not refer to a specific person, place, or thing. They include words like, everyone, someone, all, none, some, and so on. Before we proceed to the errors, we need to understand what pronoun antecedent agreement is. The antecedent of a pronoun is the word that the pronoun refers to. Pronoun antecedent agreement means the pronoun must agree in number, singular or plural, with its antecedent. Now that we know the basics, let's delve into the common mistakes. The most frequent error comes from not understanding whether the indefinite pronoun is singular or plural. Remember, most indefinite pronouns are considered singular. For example, words like each, either, neither, everyone, someone, nobody, are all singular. So we say, everyone is here, not, everyone are here. Some indefinite pronouns, however, are always considered plural, like several, few, both, and many. So, we say, several are here, not, several is here. Be careful not to get tripped up by these. And finally, there are some indefinite pronouns that can be either singular or plural depending on the context. Words like, all, any, most, none, and, some, fall into this category. If these words are referring to something countable, use a plural verb. If they're referring to something uncountable, use a singular verb. For instance, all are welcome, people are countable, versus, all is well, well-being is uncountable. And that's it for today. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep practicing your indefinite pronouns and their agreements to become a pro. We hope you found this video helpful and are now more confident about using indefinite pronouns correctly. Until next time, keep learning and happy studying.